you. So this year, it's no secret. We've all done our fair share of stockpiling those cleaning products, right? Just in case you don't find them in the store, you got to get them now. But are you buying the right ones? And do you know which is best to use in which situation? Joining us now to clean up some confusion is Senior Associate Home Editor of Real Simple, Leslie Corona. Good morning to you, Leslie. How are yes. you? Yes. Hi, I'm okay. How are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So let's get to it. There are so many cleaning terms. We mm. all throw them around, right? So start us by helping understand the difference between three things, okay? Cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting. I thought they were all the same. <laughs> so that is a mistake people make all the time. They throw them around interchangeably, and they are not the same. So a cleaner is really anything that will manually remove any physical signs of dirt. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean that you've killed any germs, actually. It, it means you, pre you probably removed some of the germs. Um, sanitizers are the next step in that process. Sanitizers remove most of the germs. This is all very simply put, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then disinfectants are kind of the gold standard. That means it will remove, it will kill 99.9% .9 uh, of the germs. Oh, and if something yeah. is, yeah, if something is, is listed as a disinfectant, that means that it should have been tested um, by the EPA. And so mm -hmm. that it, it's gone through rigorous testing and you can trust that product. I know we keep looking for that on, on the label. So with that being said, in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19, we must look for the disinfectants. But how do you know what you're buying is an effective mm -hmm. disinfectant? So the label should say on the front that it disinfects any, no, there's no product on the market that is allowed to say disinfectant without EPA approval. Um, and you can double check that it is approved by the EPA um, by turning the product around. And it should say EPA registration number. And that confirms that it's been registered with the EPA. Another way you can check is by going on the EPA website, epa.gov, and it'll give you a list of all the disinfectants that will fight um, coronavirus. Understood. Okay, so the CDC, we've been hearing this since the beginning, says disinfecting high touch surfaces, right? So walk us yeah. through what is considered a high touch surface. Is it the countertops? Is it a doorknob, remote Light control, switch. all the above? Yeah. Yeah, so um, high touch surfaces, you should be cleaning them daily according to the CDC, and that can vary from family to family, but in general, a high touch surface is usually a doorknob, the countertops, light switches, faucets, remote controls even, people don't think about that. Oh my gosh, I have um, not cleaned a remote control in I don't know how long. What's the proper way it. to disinfect? <laughs> oh man, I feel like people often mess this up. The first thing you should always do before you disinfect is read the label. Um, that will tell you everything you need to know about how to properly disinfect. The label will tell you, for example, how long that product needs to stay on the surface. People often remove the product before you mm -hmm. need, before you mm -hmm. should you That's need me. to give it and every product will range so it's 30 seconds to six minutes so read the oh. label for that yeah it'll so also everything's you. 30 seconds for me yeah because i just spray <laughs> it and then wipe it right away and that's not giving yeah. it enough time so i need to no. so i need to go around the house spraying all these the you know the light switches the doorknobs yeah. and just let it sit for like 30 seconds See, i'm always i'm always afraid that it's going to dry before i can wipe or, it down or run yeah so that's actually a good point, um, but th that's the other thing. You should actually really saturate a surface so that it doesn't dry before mm. um, the dwell time is up. And um, unfortunately, I, like you do kind of, it does run a little bit, I think, yeah. um, but it's kind of, I think it's worth it if it's killing all the bacteria and viruses. The other thing is it'll, the uh, disinfectant will let you know like what surface it's safe on. And the other thing is it'll tell you whether or not you should wipe it off, mm. whether or not you should let it air dry. That actually matters. Some products you have to let air dry and mm -hmm. other products you have to wipe off. Um, and the biggest mistake I see people make is they do not pre-clean a surface before disinfecting. Yeah, because you think the disinfectant is so going to do it all for Wait you. Wait a second. <laughs> so you're saying exactly. clean, what do you mean? Clean, like if there's crumbs, wipe off the disinfect. crumbs first? <laughs> Right, so physically removing any visible signs of dirt. So yeah, so that can include crumbs, but also, you know, the CDC says using just regular soap and water on a surface, um, cleaning that, you cleaning it with that solution, and then following it up with a disinfectant is the best way to to hey, quickly, kill germs. But before yeah. we let you go, we, we're almost out of time. But did we have to change like our rag between disinfecting, or is the disinfectant going to clean whatever gets on it? So the ideal solution is to use a different rag oh, per geez. room. 
Yeah. Per, per, room. per, per room. light switch, per, per room, handle, yeah. okay. per room. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a full time job. Um, Okay, well, I learned a lot. Work. I learned a lot yeah. here today, Leslie. Thank you so much you know for coming learned? on. What? Me too. Our houses are filthy. <laughs> My house is disgusting. <laughs> right. That's what I learned today. Exactly. Yeah. All, all right, right, Leslie. Leslie thank thank you. you very much. My goodness, <laughs> I was doing it all wrong. Of course. I wasn't doing it enough. I didn't know you had to do all of those daily. 